Ammar says, is it allowed to join someone offering salah alone? If it is allowed, then there are many cases like what if he is offering four rak'ah and I join with the intention of Maghrib Salah? Or if a person offering with uh, someone joins him for Isha Salat, etc. Basically speaking, the ruling on joining someone for voluntary or for prayer, while this person who is already praying, praying alone, this is permissible. Some schools of thought say, no, it is not permissible. If an individual is praying, he intended to pray alone. So now when you join him, his intention from praying alone changes into praying in congregation. And such a change of intention affects the salah negatively, and hence this is not permissible. This is what some scholars say, and this is wrong. Now, whenever we come to a question or an issue of dispute, as Muslims, the basic thing to do is to go back to the reference. When you have a problem with your device, when you have a problem with your machine or engine, you go back to the manual, and the manual tells you what to do. So as Muslims, we have to go back to the main sources of Islam, the Quran and the Sunnah. So to answer a dilemma such as this, we refer to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which was narrated by Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father. He says that I spent the night at the Prophet's house ﷺ with my aunt Maymuna, who is the aunt of Abdullah ibn Abbas, Khalid ibn Walid, and others. So she's the mother of the believers, the wife of the Prophet. He said, I spent the night at my aunt's house when the Prophet was there, and I pretended to go to sleep. And I was watching the Prophet as he fell in deep sleep. Then he woke up and he recited the last 10 ayahs of Surah Al-Imran in other narrations, and then he وسلم, made wudu and started to pray. So I stood up next to him to his left, and I joined him. So the Prophet started alone, and now Abdullah ibn Abbas joined him. The Prophet pulled me and made me stand to his right and continued to pray. From this, we learn that it is permissible for a person to join someone else, even if their intention is different. Whether he's in uh, the Imam is praying voluntary prayers or far prayers, this is beside the point. You can join without any problem. Now, if you join with the intention of Maghrib while the Imam is praying two rak'ahs, you have no problem. When he finishes the prayer, you stand up and finish your third. But if he's already praying four rak'ahs, like in the case of Isha, in this case, what you have to do is when the Imam finishes the third rak'ah, and stands up for his fourth, you remain sitting down in the tashahhud position until the Imam finishes his fourth rak'ah, prostrates, sits for his tashahhud, offers salam, then you offer salam with your Imam. We have